my name is Helen and in today's video I'm gonna take you along on my trip to Wilson's prom I'm here for the weekend and I just want this video to act as a guide or inspire you if you decide to come here yourself so a little bit about Wilson's prom it's a three-hour drive southeast from Melbourne it's best known for its sandy beaches and it's very rugged landscape and the hiking tracks and even the wildlife we've already seen a wombat and a lot of birds around here so far so that's very exciting and there's lots to do at the prom but you can't do it all in one weekend. I have sussed out some of the best hiking tracks and um, beaches to see while we're here. So we're gonna try and do as much of that as we can in this weekend that we're here. And we're also camping at Tidal River. We're very excited to be camping. Um, we're just in the heart of the prom and we have the beautiful uh, Mount Oberon behind us. So it's about two o'clock now. Um, we have just been chilling, um, having lunch, setting up the tents and all that. decided to do is go on the pillar point walk this is about an hour and a half walk and it's meant to be relatively easy it is a little bit uphill but the views are amazing like this whole time so you start at the tidal river footbridge and then once you get there there'll be a sign that says pillar point and then you just do that it's 1.8 k's <laughs> hiked up a little bit we're not there yet but the views are already amazing you can see the river tidal river merging with the ocean so so that's super cool we're gonna keep going see where it takes us walking for about half an hour as you walk up you'll see like these little seats and then it has this view just here so this is a nice place just to catch your breath and just take in the view so we've made it to the top of pillar point and the view is just incredible it just shows the entire ocean and i think you can even see skull rock over there and tomorrow we're going to go up close to that we're going on the promontory cruise but this is just the perfect place to just chill after a long hike um, and you have these boulders just here and we've just been sitting here but there are bull ants so just be careful of that but here is the view it's just spectacular <laughs> day and after our hike yesterday we ended up just going for a walk to Norman Beach for sunset it was really cloudy so um, there wasn't really much of a sunset but because we were close to the beach we just thought we'd go there for a little walk so that was really nice and you can just see the ocean connecting with the river so that was just an easy little walk if you wanted to go there at night or in the evening um, and then we just made dinner so we didn't really get up too much because we had arrived later in the day but this morning we are going on a cruise the wilson's prom boat cruise which will take us to skull rock so um, we're just getting ready now we've got an 11 a.m boat ride so i'll take you guys along on that as well
So we have just gotten back from our prom cruise boat ride. So that was an amazing trip that took us around Wilson's prom. It was a two and a half hour ride um, and it started at 11, but you had to get there half an hour early. So we met at 10.30 at the outdoor cinema, but the cruise was really great. It just takes you around Wilson's prom and you can see like the southernmost point of Australia and you see the lighthouse and of course Skull Rock, which was amazing to see. And then you see seals and we saw dolphins. We were very lucky to see dolphins and also a whale. We didn't see the whale jumping out of the water, but you could see it blowing out the water. So yeah, it was really great. I would recommend doing it if you are willing to spend a bit of money to explore Wilson's prom. It was $145 for a two and a half hour boat ride. So it's up to you. I really enjoyed it, but I think it's definitely worth giving it a go. And it was also really cool. We got to see an eagle and we even saw it flying above us with a fish. It had just caught a fish. So yeah, you see some really cool things on that boat ride. So I would suggest doing it. So we're about to hike Mount Oberon. It's just the mountain right behind me. Um, apparently this is a bit of a difficult hike. It's two hours um, there and back. So one hour up, one hour down. Um, so you have to drive to a car park before you can begin the hike. It's about three o'clock now and we're expected to be back around five or 5.30 depending, um, depending how long it takes us to hike it. taking the last shuttle bus up to the mountain. On the weekends, they have a shuttle bus taking you to the car park rather than everyone driving up by themselves. But as you can tell, it's very rainy. We're like in a cloud right now. So I'm not sure what the view is gonna be like. I know from photos, the view looks amazing. We've been walking for 2K, so it's a 3.8K walk. So we're over halfway. Um, so yeah, let's just keep tracking. up all the way to Mount Oberon only for it to be completely blocked by the cloud and fog and it's been raining this whole time so that is okay sometimes things just don't go to plan but I would not suggest going to Mount Oberon if it's just started to rain you would have seen the mountain before we left it looked really clear but then it instantly changed by the time we had driven up to the car park it was raining and um, we decided to still do it just to see what it was like. Um, so now we know not to do it if it is raining. Wilson's Prom's weather is very random. Um, it can be super sunny one moment and then rainy and windy the next. So just keep that in mind when you come here. But we're almost finished our hike now. Um, gonna have a shower. Luckily they have nice warm showers at the campground and then um, just getting into our tent. But the good thing about the rain is that we actually saw a rainbow over a lookout. So that was a positive to this rainy, rainy hike. we decided to stop along the way at a few beaches so we've done the picnic bay to whiskey beach walk and as you can see the views are just incredible so I would definitely suggest doing this walk it's only about 700 meters between the beaches and um, it's beautiful views the whole walk along along on this trip.
hope I hope this inspired you. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.